Bonjour avec Charlie. Oh, ça si vous l'aidez. Um, if we tried to make a nice thumbnail, we could not because uh, it was a little bit tricky with those things. This is maybe you know this brand. It's uh, very famous. This is uh, some um, Fulikake. Do you know Fulikake? It's uh, some small stuff, some ingredients that you can spark, sprinkle on rice and it makes your rice high track. It makes uh, your rice tastier. So it's very popular in Japan. It's like some, uh, how do you know? Uh, you know? This is uh, ochazuke, but I also have uh, some furikake. Ochazuke and furikake, it's uh, when you want to have a quick uh, meal or at the end of the meal, if you want to make your uh, rice tastier, we sprinkle those stuff on top of the rice. And then we can either get uh, the rice with, if it's only furikake, um, it's the rice with the small ingredients on top of it. And if it's ochazuke, it makes, uh, let's say, a kind of rice soup, but it's not um, the taste of a soup because uh, I think one of the most popular ochazuke is a uh, ocha. It's green tea taste, but uh, if you go to Japanese restaurants, sometimes you also get uh, ochazuke made with uh, dashi, some uh, Japanese bouillon. But today I thought I would show, this is the, I am continuing that series of what to buy at the supermarket and bring back uh, to your countries if you want uh, to still have a taste of uh, um, Japanese food at home or if you want to have your um, uh, friends taste some Japanese food. This, the ochazuke thing and uh, <laughs> the ochazuke thing and the furikake thing is really convenient I think. So nosh Maybe you have this brand. I think this brand it's the pro probably the most popular, and we can find it. I think abroad too. And actually, the first time I had it, it was when I was studying Japanese at the university, and some uh, uh, high London, some friends. My friend, she did not make ochazuke with it. She made um, some onigiri. So this brand can work also for onigiri and actually if you start doing this I think you will get addicted to that taste. But today what I'm going to do is show you this ochazuke because I just had lunch and I want to finish my lunch with uh, some rice. This is a kind of a Japanese way I think. You know, very often they like to end the meals with um, some starch and usually it's rice. Well, I mean, when we go to the restaurant, right? And uh, so, uh, hold on a second. This is, um, in my head, it's a really a uh, confusion. I, um, what's my favorite rice maker? I don't have a favorite rice maker. I have... A rice maker that I bought two years ago and that was the most expensive rice maker in the shop at that time because apparently it could reproduce um, the making of the rice you know when you make it in a kama in those uh, traditional um, terra kind of it's not terracotta but you know those um, nabi like stuff but you know I think that if it's good rice then you could also cook it with, uh, if you don't have a rice cooker, with some, uh, even with Le Creuset here, you can cook the rice. So, sorry, I can't uh, really answer that question. Um, yes, so I have this that you can find in the country. The brand is Nagatanien. Nagatanien. 
they are even if it's super popular in Japan you can see regularly commercials about it and there are three flavors this you can see you have eight packs in there six and six why because this one is the most um, I say it's a plain taste so you have a few ingredients in there I will show you this is I have one last packet voilà. so you get small packs in the big packs okay and this is the plain flavor we'll check out afterwards what's in there but basically it's some uh, let's say uh, green tea and uh, noli you know seaweed and maybe um, a little bit of a hint of wasabi taste but there is for those who like wasabi we also have the wasabi ochazuke okay ocha you know is tea and zuke comes from tsukeru tsukeru means to soak okay so this is ochazuke rice cooker for 15 dollars that is really cheap i think i th i was wondering if you were talking about this the other ochazuke from a nagatanian that we have here is ume ume chazuke ah no go umeboshi umeboshi ne umeboshi is those uh, pickled plums you know that come usually from wakayama this is where I lived for the first three years when I was in Japan, so I really love uh, Ochazuke. Uh, no, 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 no. Umeboshi. Ne? So we have those uh, three flavors. I will open, I think, the plain ones so you can see the small ingredients in there. But here, what they do is they add more wasabi. Here, more, um, not more, they add some umeboshi, pickled uh, plums. I know that there is also the salmon ochazuki in the same brand and honestly i've tried many i always go back to this one it's just my favorite it's like it's the standard taste that you will find in every japanese household and uh, it's just the real stuff okay so we have the ochazuki and also, if you go to department stores, you will find very high trend ochazuke in small packs, in individual packs, and then you will just have to add water. By the way, we only had water to this. We only add water. The, all the flavoring is inside, you know, you don't have to make a green tea to enjoy ochazuke. It's all in there. Okay, and in department stores they have those uh, super high quality like I think this is about two dollars and in the individual pack will be almost the same price but it's like you know they put other ingredients and uh, it's a little bit like a high class let's say ochazuke these are good too of course but um, I mean this video I recommend because it's cheap and good okay also, I wanted to take this opportunity to show you the um, furikake. Furu is to sprinkle, and kakeru is also a kakeru is like to. It can be to pour or to, for example, if you want to butter your. But when you butter your butter, <laughs> when you put your butter, it can be kakeru batao kakeru. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you got the meaning. So furikake is also good to put uh, on the white rice if you want to add some flavor to your rice. And you can see very often furikake. Yes, spread your butter. If you want to, uh, sometimes on um, um, obento also, you know, you see lots of stuff. Just checking out, you, you've been commenting. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate because my... Uh, concentration level is so loud today yes we need a sushi making lesson i can organize that with a real edo my sushi chef soon i was thinking about that this morning actually um on obento sometimes when you see you know small ingredients very often it's furikake and 
Japanese people to, you know, when they bring obento at, um, at work, they use also very often furikake. And you have many flavors. I like this pack because uh, it's otonano, so adults, no furikake, mini furikake for adults. Why for adults? Because there are 20 packs and five flavors for automatic let's say four packs of five flavors which are the flavors you have some kind of uh, gyu soboro this is uh, you know um, minced um, beef made in a sauce so that reproduces the gyu sobolo but you also have shake salmon wasabi talaco uh cod ro, ro, cod ro, you know the small eggs and then a sesame flavor so i mean even kids have this now, of course but um that's one of the first uh furikake i bought in japan and i'm sticking to it because it's really good but you can try many, you know, those are cheap. So, you know, you bring back a lot home and taste all those. And also what is good is that those, um, it's one pack, one pack is for one person, but if you don't eat that rice, you can sprinkle, you know, on a plate with lots of rice and, you know, to your liking. So now she were asking if those have a lot of sugar. <laughs> Uh, I think they put, yes, sugar. In Japan, they put basically sugar in everything, I think. But uh, even in bread. But uh, let me see. In in the furikake. Uh, can, do I have some detail? Not so much. Ah, yes. Yeah. They put, uh, because you know, for example, the gyu soboro, the beef, the sauce in which they make it, they add sal sal um, sugar. You know, very often it's what? It's a base of soy sauce, sugar, and then milin, um, sake, you know, sake, cooking sake. So there is this little bit sweet base very often. So that's another brand. I will put all the detail in the description. Voila. Also, I don't know if you remember uh, those who watched the um, unboxing Obento at the secret place. Yes, they have some lots. Have there was a, was there a question about noli? Most of those the Ochadske usually they have noli in there. In the furikake, no, not always. So when I was doing the live stream at the, that secret place, I had a bento which had a kind of uh, murasaki, violet color, violet color. And I remembered afterwards where that color comes from. It comes from this, from shiso furikake. You know the shiso leaves, that they put when you have, um, when you eat um, sushi. They make a furikake with those shiso leaves and I just love it. I'm going, I will show you, I will sprinkle um, a little bit on my rice. We are going, what we are going to do is actually start with this. So I will just have a bite just to show you the color and then we will make the make i will show you how to <laughs> to, to just mix the ingredients we'll do the um, ochazuki another just to show you i bought another furikake mix this one's this one is ume so plum again i love plum so ume and katsuo bonito and you can see that there are also, you know, uh, noli, dried seaweeds, and uh, those, uh, the fish and uh, ume. 
This must be pretty tasty, I think. See, they put the fish, the bonnet, and the plum drawing. Voila. Uh, if I did not explain this enough, please ask a question. Now that I've done the main explanations, I can relax a little. <laughs> I am, I don't know why, but in my head, I have so much things to do recently that uh, it's uh, uh, it's all crazy in my head. But we are going to start with the shiso furikake. I'm just going to pour, to put a bite of white rice in my uh, bowl, just one bite, one mouth, mouthful, so that you can see the color of the... I don't want to pour too much, so I'm going to... <laughs> my shirt, <laughs> yes! <laughs> um... I'm, I'm going to show you this shiso. Of course, usually I pour like this, but I don't want to pour too much. And I want to pour it nicely on the rice so it doesn't alter my um, ochazuke taste afterwards because I'm going to use the same bowl. It smells. Ah, it smells of shiso. Voilà, alors attends, hop. Ok, that's, that's a lot. I can't move that gimbal thing too much because I broke the, um, the legs, so it's holding like in a box. Not very cool. Voilà, I hope you can see the furikake. I need to think about those... Uh, a material thing this weekend. I need to take the time to do that. So go, just going to eat it and maybe you can see it better. I put some in the bowl. Anyways, voila. Well, I put a lot. Huh? But you can see it's really thin particles of uh, shiso. Tadakimasu before it falls. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Bon appétit. Mm. 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 It is, yes. Oh, this is so good. Like it has a little bit, yes, sharp taste. I have a, where is the, oh no, the pink, um, yes, the pink bowl. There is a still ha just a little bit of that uh, sakula rice in there. I bought it in uh, Sasebo. It's made in, uh, you know, Alita area in Kyushu. They make lots of uh, nice um, ceramics. And this one, they explain that, you know, well, you I don't know if you can see, but it's all, you know, I don't know with what they did this, but it's not um smooth it's like you know they carved it yeah and it's really nice i really like it i try not to buy too much uh, see the color not too much um stuff because it grows and grows into the house right but those were too pretty maybe you can see the color it's getting a little bit uh, murasaki violet the bowl here, can you see? No, not so well. Well, you got the gist of it, I think. Huh? Okay, going to eat it. If you have any questions, I'm going to do the... Um... This is so good. Really? I should uh, mark wins. Yeah, I hear about this a lot because people who watch me, they have been following him forever, right? because he's been doing this forever. So I was curious, I just watched his like, part of his uh, introductory uh, video. He seems to be a really nice guy and his videos 
are probably great. I should watch more of uh, YouTube, right? Okay, so making the ochazuke. Charlie is uh, sleeping, it's uh, siesta time because we just had uh, lunch. I'm finishing my lunch with the ochazuke and you guys, but uh, they are sleeping already. Alex, the French guy cooking. No, I've never watched him. No, you should know by now that I don't watch uh, YouTube. Okay, so I listen to music only on YouTube. Now so I'm putting some rice, white rice, my bowl. Oh, that's a pity I don't have any. Um, I should show you one day. Do you know uh, Umeboshi? I should show you umeboshi. I love that, but I don't have any now. So I'm going to show you the plain, let's say the standard uh, Nagataniem Ochazuke, okay? You get eight packs in the standard one, only six packs in the flavored ones because they put more ingredients. And as I said, you can make uh, on, uh, onigiri or just sprinkle on rice as if it were fully kake, that works well too. Thing is that those uh, ochazuke thing, things, they are pretty salty. So this is why, you know, you uh, usually, well, I mean, not usually, they are meant to be used as uh, ochazuke because the water, <gasps> I did not, oh la la. Oh my God, Shane, thank you so much. This is going to pay for my uh, gas. I completely forgot to boil some water. Hold on a second. This is not going smoothly today. But I guess I have, uh, you know that I always have uh, stuff to show you. This will take uh, three minutes. So we have I tr has really this distinctive ochazuke smell. I don't, hold on a second, this is not moving, why? I blocked something, I think, okay, not working. Voila, so the green powder-like thing is going to melt. This is what gives the... Um, green tea flavor and then we have uh, some um, this is like uh, alele this is some uh, nanti no kana i don't uh, remember how to call this but um, this is some crunchy bits <laughs> could you hear it's like a uh, kind of sembi actually huh? this is not sembi but and we have the noli. Voila. It's kind of uh, alale, boubou alale. But it's different. I looked for the name. I'm going to try to find this. Um, so you see, it's really a basic. No, it's not working. The gimbal is not working. Let me see. I checked out because it's a specific. There is a specific word. They call this um, wow, <laughs> monosodium glutamate. <laughs> Do you understand? But it's uh, like uh, yes for those who know uh, alale because alale ah it's working now. Alale is uh, getting uh, popular. No idea. Uh, no, it's getting popular in France and abroad. I know that uh, a Kyoto company who makes uh, Alale is trying to sell some there. Okay. Water is ready. Alors. Okay, ikimaseyo. See the 
powder like bits are melting already when I pour the hot water on it. Voilà, pour les boulets, Kala. There. So the whole powder like bits are really, you know, they it melted and you can see it's a little bit on the side, but it melted down. And then you just have this uh, like alale parts, crunchy bits with dried seaweed, noli. Voila, yes, so it's kind of, yeah, it is, uh, it's not only green tea because uh, it also have a, it's, it has a pretty mild taste, this um, uh, Nagatani and Ochazuke. So I, I bet it's not only green tea, but uh, it's green tea based. So yes, of course, you could make, and sometimes I make my own um, ochazuke. Ochazuke, the base, you know, this is like nowadays, how to call that, like, you know, ready to use popular food. But of course you can make ochazuke yourself because ochazuke at the beginning, it was, it's what? It's pouring hot, green tea on rice and just having the rice with maybe an umeboshi or some pickles or it can be just dashi and then you can make upper versions adding for example i like to add you know some salmon or um, you can add other ingredients you like but this these are ready to eat packs that even japanese people use daily so this is uh, i mean it's not everybody who makes, you know, like a very fresh ochazuke. So, and these I think are good because they give you a, a Japanese taste that you can enjoy quickly and uh, for cheap. And it's also, the, these are super light, so easy to bring back, right? The furikake also, um, yes, the tsukemono, when I say, uh, you know, the pickles, it's a tsukemono. Yeah, skimono go goes well, pickles, Japanese pickles go well with uh, rice and ochazuke. But these are also, you know, really easy to bring back home. And, uh, you know, Japanese people, when they go to work, they can't make their ochazuke, a fresh ochazuke. So those packs come in really handy. Um, there is, yes, also furikake. You can buy in, uh, so I got also a pack like this. We have individual packs, but also I have, <gasps> no, sh you know this one. This is a uh, luxury furikake that uh, I introduced um, when I did uh, one of my first videos on Patreon. This was actually a Sakura a cherry blossom flavored furikake. Like top quality, right? I mean, hold on a second. This is uh, $2, this is $20. So, you know, that's completely two different dimensions. But let me show you. This is, I'm, actually I might add some to my uh, ochazuke. This is, uh, Ah, oh, smells so good. It smells of uh, sakula. The season is over now, alas. So this is good even like this, but it has a strong taste. And this was um, furikake kombu based. So this is kombu, sakula flavored kombu that they turned into a Furikake shape, you know, very small bits. Voila. And uh, as I said, my friends sometimes they also make onigiri with this, you know. So um, the the furikake, of course, but also this um, nagatani 
friends abroad in France, they make uh, onigiri with this too. Voilà, voilà, I saw a bonjour, bonjour. This is the end of the live stream, unless you have uh, questions. Sorry, it was not uh, very well organized, but hopefully you got the gist of um, furikake and uh, otazuke. Alors, is it difficult to find a local grocery store in Tokyo? Ah, oops, hold on a second. Let me get back this comment. I only saw one in Midtown and Mitsukoshi. You would like to buy this to bring home. Haha. <laughs> um, you can buy this. This, I think you can buy in uh, department stores too because it's really a popular brand. Check out at the convenience store also because I think they have this. Maybe smaller packs, but I'm pretty sure they have it. It's really the most popular furikake, uh, otazuke. But also, hold on a second. Uh, in some areas, you can find uh, supermarkets. I try and Google supermarkets in the areas where you go. But I know that, for example, I don't know if you go to Kagulazaka, which is, uh, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know where country you're from, but Kagulazaka is pretty popular amongst French people. It was the the area where geisha used to live. Um, the they have two or three supermarkets there. So I think you know now with your um, iPhone you can find supermarkets easily. But this Nagatania you can find even the the convenience I think. So just, you know, I'm talking, but I just wanted to show you, you know, those food, it's better to have eat those right away because afterwards, the more you wait, the longer you wait, the quicker the texture changes. You see my nori, it's all now kind of uh, not, looking, not looking so, so good. Huh? It's all... Uh, it's almost disintegrating in my mouth. So it's like also, you know, lame. The more the pasta soaks, the, the, the lame pasta, <laughs> you know, the noodles soak in the broth. Nobiru, they say in Japanese, you know, they expand and so the texture changes and uh, this is why the master the the ramen master usually they, they like it when it we eat it quickly um but this um ochazuke usually you know we have it right away Alors, which brand of uh, furikake do i prefer <laughs> uh, i uh, do not buy Fulikake anymore. I um, I like rice and ingredients separately. I do not make bento anymore, so I, I could not say. Uh, apart from this brand, I haven't tried. Let's say maybe there are uh, other brands now, but I know that this one is pretty. Um, how would you say that? Standard and popular. I mean, I've seen this brand for 20 years. I've been living here for 20 years and it's still as popular as it was 20 years ago. And I bought it to show you. Now I have all those things that I will have. This I eat sometimes, especially during the winter or when I'm, I feel a little bit sick because it, you know, you can digest the rice more quickly if, um, it's it's been soaked in a broth right furikake i've bought this maybe in it's it had been 10 years since i had not bought this but i knew i know this is a good brand so i recommend it and i thought that this then other versions uh like this one the taste sounded interested interesting so you know ume and katsu so i bought it but I know that I'm going to taste it and then give it to one of my friends because 
if not it will sit in there and in six months i will be like oh my god i still have this and it's all it's gone bad right but what i like as um furikake usually and something that you can find at the supermarket and the department store but next time i buy some at the supermarket i will show you it's the um, the fresh salmon in glass jars that you can use as furikake or in your ochazuke so in that case what i do is that i put my uh, the that um, salmon that comes in a jar and you can keep after opened one or two weeks i put some on my white rice and then pour some uh, green tea et voila <laughs> very good delicious you know healthy and uh, tasty voila voila if you have any other questions i'm happy to answer if not uh, I'm just going to give you the, f <laughs> how would you say that, not the forecast, but uh, actually today I've had those for a week, but I just could not find the time to, to make the video because then I have to eat the stuff, right? Uh, and I didn't feel like eating uh, Utazuki. The plan was to make a um, video about... Um, the seasonal Mr. Donuts Donuts. I don't know if you saw on Instagram two days ago, I had the donut there and I saw all those seasonal uh, donuts and I'm like, I was really curious because uh, they have, I am going to show you if, if you, you're still free guys, stay with me. I'm going to show you something horrible. <laughs> that I will live stream about uh, when I find uh, the whole series, but hold on a sec. I was, so I was supposed to, I thought I would find the other flavors, which were, I think, so they have now the seasonal, it's what donuts, it's well, what they call, meal meal don a ah, gohan donut so basically donuts to have as a meal so those are not sweet donuts and so i had bought um one of those meal donuts to try yesterday i wanted to live stream but i didn't feel like it so i tasted it on i wanted to eat it on my own it was horrible guys so i cut it in two oh you can see <laughs> this was ham and oh it stinks i need to throw this away now that you've seen it i can't keep it until i found the whole series so this is a donut right a donut you know a donut but they put some ham and some you know tuna and in my head, it was like, oh, you know, I love the tuna, the tuna mayo, the tuna mayonnaise onigiri. And I don't know why in my head it would be something like this, right? I mean, even the babies, I thought I'm just going to give them just so they taste it. They did not eat it. It's, it was horrible. Uh, also, what I did not like, I mean, ham. Tuna, mayonnaise with a donut, this is not a good match. Absolutely not. And the taste, it doesn't match. The texture doesn't match. And also it had a kind of, um, how to say, uh, some onion, back on, uh, onion back flavor. Horrible. And what I did, I kept it because I thought that today I would find they have a four of, or five flavors. So I, so I thought we could have fun together and I could taste those live with you. I went to Mr. Donut. There was a super long queue, but also no more of those um, Gohan donuts. 
so I could not do it today, but uh, maybe I think within a few days I can find those donuts and uh, they will they might go to waste, which will be a pity, but I mean, this is uh, valuable information, right? I want to show this to you so we can do that tasting together. But yeah, so the, again, about the taste, it's a donut. So the donut is, it's a donut taste. It's not too sweet, but this is not a salty stuff, right? It really has that uh, kind of soft and mild donut taste. And <laughs> yes, this will be, I mean, this live stream I will do for you because uh, I know that this food is going to go to the bin, so it will be a pity. I, I'm only expecting maybe the cheese one, you know, I'm French and I love cheese. Who knows, maybe the cheese one will be edible, not sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know why, but it's just even the feeling. I think also the feeling is not super good quality. So it was really yuck, you know, like this is this. I mean, if I, I'd put this, upload this, I would, I, I would, I'd want to title Japan's most disgusting donut, you know, it was horrible. So yeah so we'll see if i can find um today is uh, saturday maybe tomorrow to you know they have lots of people uh in those places on weekends so maybe i'll wait one day or um or tuesday okay um yeah so i think did i answer the questions i think i did voila well okay yeah i see Shuichi san, you say looks like a bagel sandwich. Bagel, bagel. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like it. But the thing is that the this is a donut and it's sweet, so no, no merci, not my taste. Voila. I also I think I uh, I'm going to end the live stream, but. Uh, I know that many of you followed me and had the, the melon pan adventure with me. I had so much fun. Thanks for being with me that day. I uh, now am dying to have the melon pan with the matcha ice cream in there. So hopefully I can go... Um, I hope I can go soon, not sure, but uh, and there are other, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do a cooking um, video, maybe tomorrow, um, edit a cooking video, because if I cook with you, it will take something like an hour and a half, so, and I see vegan Japan, actually the recipe I'm going to make tomorrow will be a vegetarian, even if you don't put the cheese, it will be a vegan recipe. So this will be uh, a new, I think, on my channel. Alors, we need French food versus Japanese food comparison. Yes. Aha. Like, uh, okay, you have to give me more uh, co concrete ideas because uh, it can be also, you know, Japan, French food, uh, Japanized French food or <laughs> Japanese food à la Française. I don't know. You have uh, be more specific, please. Next time uh, I will be live streaming about them or uh, please put a comment. Give me ideas. Okay. Konnichiwa, ski ski san. I am uh, going to... Um, you're still trying to figure out the tofu gratin. Ah, yes. You can, I think you can uh, easily make it good. So please try with the ingredients you find there. Brioche versus melon pan. Aha, yeah, but the thing is, you know what? I love, if you watch the video at uh, that I made at Restaurant Okada, and I recommend the mariage, the match between um, brioche and champagne. This is honestly, you have to try 
or any other sparkling brioche and sparkling I could have I mean when I go to restaurant Okada I could have my meal could be made only out of that brioche and champagne um, also the chef doesn't know yet so don't tell him but I was thinking I might ask him if he would disclose his uh, recipe you know in between two meals if we, he could take the time to make that brioche for us if I could film that I, I'd love to do that so I'm going to try and see if I can have some uh, chefs cook for us I also need the time you know to to do those but uh, I thought that brioche and also you know the fact that it's square it's uh, pretty original I think so voila voila I think I wanted to say tell something else but I completely forgot um, I want to thank you it's I've been doing this for 45 minutes I thought I would be live streaming for 10 minutes but uh, I will finish so again the Nagata Niem Ochazuke. Voila. We also have the Furikake. I think this brand is really popular also because it offers five different flavors. 20 packs and five different flavors. So this is good. And the Nagatanie Ochazuke can be used, used also to make onigiri. My Japanese friends make it so. Voila. And then you know you have other brands too, but just to check out the flavors and buy the flavors that um, you that you like. Um, and yeah, what did the shirt? Where did you get it? That's what you forgot to tell us. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I got it in uh, in Shibuya. In, uh, I think it was um, 109 Ichimaru-kyu, but the one, you know, when you come out of the station, the one on the right side, not the one on the left side, and like, I almost never go there, and I went there, I was actually looking for a present for a friend, <laughs> and so I ended up buying something for me, I'm bad. Um, I have to find a present for Charlie. This is uh, very soon. It's going to be Charlie's birthday on the 11th. So maybe if I go, I, I need to go to Harajuku. There is a very nice um, shop for those who have animals. They have a shop that sells that sells nice um, outfits. I also need to show you what I feed my, feed the babies, yes. And also, if I uh, I need to check out um, hundred yen shopping for the babies live stream. Actually, I went to the hundred yen shop today because I needed some um, tools for my garden, and they have a corner for the babies, but. They, the, the, st the stuff wasn't uh, so nice. Alors, pairing Japanese food with wine, uh, I do that sometimes, yes. I also do pairing um, Nihonshu sake with French cuisine, with my cuisine. That's nice too. Uh, I have a surprise this weekend. I have to work on it. Do I do? Uh, there is going to be a slight improvement. I don't know if it's an improvement on my videos, but uh, I need to learn. Uh, I have some uh, homework to do to improve my editing this month. But uh, I, I'd like to make an announcement. <laughs> this is kind of a surprise. Well, I mean, to me, it's uh, something that makes me very, very happy. I need to make some tests because I think you're also going to be happy to hear that I have my own logo now. I have a, let me see if I, oh no, I don't think, I don't know if I have it. 
maybe I can show you. I have um, someone made me a logo that I am going to be able to use on the videos. And honestly, I love it. It's really great. I hope you will like it, guys. Uh, I need to check out because I got it under many formats and I don't know um, if the logo will go automatically on all the videos or if I have to make it appear each time. So this is something I need to study this weekend. I should do that, do that actually today before you know I start working again. Uh, no, you won't see it uh, properly here. But um, doing a t-shirt, now that I have the logo, first step is to put it on the videos, then maybe on the pictures too. And uh, making a t-shirt is obviously uh, something that I would love to do too. So, uh, okay, I'm going to try and see if I can... Uh, learn how to add it on uh, on the videos alors my mon t-shirt made in japan only please okay um yeah i'll make a, i'll make a test and then uh, also especially the summer is coming right so you know um then i'll have you all of you guys wear it so you can promote my channel okay and uh, we should also have um I should uh, try and see if I can make it for the babies too. That's uh, just got this idea. What do, you what do you say? Voilà, voilà. So I'm going to stop talking because if I keep talking, this uh, my rice. Oh my god, this is this is not looking good, guys. Look at this. The rice soaked all the the soup. Not good. I'm going to have this uh, with a spoon, I think. Voilà, this is going to be uh, easy, really easy to digest, I think. Voilà, merci beaucoup. Thanks uh, for joining and supporting me always. It's always nice uh, to, to talk with you. And um, maybe I'll see you again this weekend, okay? Uh, if not very soon, for a tasting of uh, the most horrible <laughs> donuts in Japan, okay? So, merci beaucoup. You have a good weekend. Love you guys. Moi. And uh, talk, talk very soon. Bon weekend. Bisous, bisous. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Merci, guys. Bye. Then, don't forget. Nagatanien. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you.